right, so now I'm about to do my birthday face. What to do, what to do. So your girl have eczema, so your girl have to always make sure she put on her moisturizer. Cause, what is a dry skin under your foundation? What is a dry skin under foundation? So I'm putting foundation, um, moisturizer in my, my dry prone areas. Them place here, we look, make me look scaly sometimes and extremely white. So, I put a little bit more extra where I'm affected mostly. Yeah! Now to do these. And the truth is, I don't care if them look like cousins or if them look like them related tonight. I just want to get them a little bit organized. Because I think I'm going to pull my hair down to cover them anyway. So, why stress? Not me out here behaving like me as a makeup artist. <laughs> why? Me not a makeup artist, guys. I just do what I can do to my own face because I can't do other people's face. So, me not a makeup artist. I can't do my own face. So, this is a struggle now. So, what I like to do... Again, this is not a tutorial because me is not a makeup artist. Just a tell about me though. So I like to do this one first, my left one first. But for the mere fact that I can angle my hands better on the right side. So I like to do the side that is tricky first. That way I can just shape this one how this one stay. Sometimes I forget and... Uh, Sometimes I forget to do this one first and then I struggle later on to get this one to look like the right one. But not tonight, honey. Not on my birthday. That look a look a bit decent for a first attempt. Hey, some days, some nights I fight. Some days I fight to get this to look something like this. So I'm going to do the next one now. I like to use my spoolie to smooth it out or to blend it. I have two concealer. I'm going to use the darker of the two for my underbrow. Um, this is in Fawn Pro Concealer. LA Girl Pro Concealer. Concealer. In fawn, you saw my underbrow, and again, I'm doing the left one first because it's easier. If this one messes up, that's fine because this is the one that's going to set the look for me at least. I know about the professionals now with them though, but for me, I have to do the one that I can't do good first. Then I'm going to use my little brush, my angle brush, to kind of straighten it. Right this so, right this so is a problem. But it's because a long time girl no shave. <laughs> oh my God, my face is concealer. I can't tell the last race I'm touching my eyebrow here. And there we go. And then sometimes I like to use this big brush and just blend out everything. So I'm going to do this one and come back. And then for my top brow, over here, so what do you call it? This is under, this is over, over brow, under brow, my top brow. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Um, anyways, I use my foundation. Um, and I use Mary foundation, guys. Oh, it's upside. <laughs> yeah. 
So it's Mary Kay, the lighting now make you see, but it's Mary Kay Medium Coverage Foundation, and this is in um 600, bronze 600. Again, I'm not a makeup artist, I have a little bit of good things, but for the most part, my things them is not all the way good things. I must oh, I must say good things. I'm talking about the real name brand stuff. But Mary Kay is not so bad. Mary Kay kind of on the eye inside. Kinda. What? Jesus Christ. What me have is the foundation? Alright, so I'm gonna again do the side that the side that is harder. When you put foundation squeeze out of the thing, guys, watch it. Just because I talk to Unia, I'm gonna get distracted and squeeze or something accidentally. Oh, I mean, it's not gonna waste. Come, I eventually put pollution on my face. This is my problem now. Forget get up here, so. Biggest thing for me when doing doing my brows is that I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't really see what I do good. But I just have to draw the line them and hope to God say what I'm seeing is accurate. Cause I can't squint either. See that gone too far. I can't squint because if I squint, it's gonna move the the brow line I think it's a little bit too arched for my liking crap There you have it. Hey, let me tell you, my makeup is really an artistry. So now people say makeup artistry, kind of believe. Because this requires skill to get it done really well. And me, me don't have it, me don't have that kind of skill to get it well done. But I can do it as much as I can for my own liking. And again... Like I said earlier, I'm not trying to get them to look related or, or whatever. Come on to me, you're gonna cover them anyway. So it no matter to me if them look alike. But that no means some of us are gonna show them on. I still want them to look decent. I think this bro is naturally broader. And just sometimes I find that it, it is done a little bit thicker and then I have to thin it out. I probably need to shave my brows a little bit more often. So, I'm mainly for my eyes are full, but something now look right when I look up here, but down here it looks okay. This one actually look nicer to me, that is, but whatever. But done with this. So I put a look at excess for my face. I usually use a sponge, but tonight I'm just gonna use a brush. 
I want the brush gone. Hold on, guys. I like to wet my brush a little bit. So I wet my brush a little bit a while ago. I just feel like the thing, the, the makeup spreads easier when the brush is a little bit damp. Again, me as an expert, but only I do will work for me, guys. If the experts them say don't do it, what are the expert them? Me an expert. Me as a regular girl. Stand in front of a mirror and try to look cute. I may do pour more um foundation on the brush. I don't know, I may waste my foundation because I don't need so much. A knife, but nasty me. I need my mirror. Let me cover this. So after I spread it, I'm going to go in now with the sponge to kind of blend it out. Kind of push the foundation into my skin. Oh, it's a damp sponge by the way. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with my lighter foundation, um, Warm Honey. So this is the part now where I can't tell you if, don't follow me because I'm not a pro. But putting some right there and there. I'll draw my little line right here, so. Straighten up my nose. I look a bit this off, I look a bit this off. Put some up here, so. Probably, probably need a little bit more down here, so. And then I'm gonna blend that in. What am I using? I think I'm gonna continue with the sponge. A damp sponge by the way and guys you have to blend blend and blend and blend you can't rush the work here this work can't rush the blending part can't rush like I said you gotta blend So now I'm going to put on my setting spray, Sasha Fix It Spray. Alright, so now I'm going to put on my, what is name? What is name? My baking powder. <laughs> my baking powder. Did I really just call this baking powder? I'm going to bake, make a bake now. And I think, what do you call this? My Sasha powder. It's Sasha. I still share the bottle. And to see you can see it's with shade. And I'm pressing it in. Why that looks so lean? <laughs> Anyways, I'm pressing that in so, I can, so it's pushed into my skin. It's a buttercup, the Sasha buttercup powder. Alright, so now I'm going to take my CoverGirl powder. I don't know why the camera keeps getting dark on me. So I'm going to use this. My Sasha full coverage um, in bronzer. FS120 Ebony. So I'm gonna use this now to kind of define my nose.
if you know me you know i hardly do um eyeshadow um i hardly do eyeshadow eyeshadows for true i'm gonna put on my all over powder the same um the same cover girl powder i'm gonna just use to straighten up my nose i'm gonna use it all over I'm going back in with my sponge with the excess um banana products left and I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> hey, why wanna press that one down here? Why go on a chat shop? Whatever. Don't want to do good enough. But guess what? We can't fix that now. What's next? Eyeshadow. So I'm going to do a look at tubes of. Oh, you nearly brought the mirror. I look at tubes of um, eyeshadow. I have this look at cheap palette on my buy a foreign. Well, I want my teeth for my auntie a foreign. The NK. NK um, Sunset Sangria. So it have these colors in there. Can't okay, open it. Um, I don't know what I wanted yet. I probably just go with um the 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 nude, the naturals. I was trying to find my lip, my pink lipstick, cause I was feeling like going with some bold pink lips tonight. Can't find my pink lipstick, so I'm probably just gonna go with um with red. This this is not really red, but it has a it it's red with a pinkish hue to it. Not exactly what I was going for. But it have worked tonight. Um, while looking for the lipstick, I found my other palette. This has all the nudes in there that I want to use. Because if I'm going with bold lips, I like to go very minimal on my eyes. Um, but I don't know. I'm so confused right now. I don't know what I wanted with my eyes. Um, let me think about it and come back. All right, so I'm starting with this um this orangish look in here. Oi. Hey, my can see. What the mirror there? <laughs> so no, it's not even orange. It's pink. It's pink, yo. Not what I want. So because it's a pink, it's not showing that it's so good. I'm going to turn on the lights and see if you're seeing it. You see? The pink. But I don't want to go pink lip with pink eyes. So I don't know. If I figure it away. What can I blend it with? So I'm gonna blend it with this brown and see what happens. Mm, it's too dark. You know what? Let me just leave it. It's getting too dark for me. But whatever. I know what I'm going to do. Let me put back some more of the pink up here. Put some more back. Hey, when you're not rushing you know, you can't the eyeshadow, you know, me at least, because I'm a professional. Then I'm going to go back with the brown and put it right below it. And warm it up underneath it. It's a bit, you guys not seen what I am seeing, you know. But it's, it looks nice. Alright. Not bad. 
All right, so now I'm going to take um, this very dark one. Oops, the lighting. So I'm going to take... Uh, so I'm going to take this very dark one now. Put it right here. You will love you. I'm hope. I'm sure you realize that I used a different palette a while ago. Not really giving what it's supposed to give, but I have to work with it right now. So what I'm doing is I'm blending it in with the se the, the second brown that I had. I'm going back in with that to kind of blend in the darker shade and the pinkish color. To make it look like an ombre effect. Oh, not me out here doing... Tutorials that means a makeup artist. Trust me, this is makeup for dummies because I'm a dummy. And this is makeup makeup tutorial for beginners because I'm a beginner myself. What else do I miss the people though? That's it. Not bad. Child. Y'all. Right now I'm about to do something. Right now I'm about to do something that I. That I like to call. A risk taker. So I'm taking this brush. And I'm taking my concealer. And what me I gonna do now is go and like them is a professional and cut my crease. Not bad. I need to stop playing with it because the more I play with it, the more I'm bringing it high. Watch ya. It can't look this up. So I did the second one while I was talking to my niece and my nephew who called to wish me a happy birthday. Like I said, this is for beginners. This is for dummies like me. Um, I'm not putting any more on this. I just said pop. I just said magam.
I'm just gonna go in guys with some more foundation um concealer on this thing. Just brighten it a little bit more, you know. Kinda make sure say it not crease. Well, that's the best me to get it right now. Put some over here so. Not the neatest cut you ever see around town, but it can go on. It can go on. Guys, when you're cutting your crease, spend time and, and cut it neatly. Get a brush like this. Get a brush like, like this. this. This helps to cut your crease really good. The little paintbrush. I'm going to go in with some shimmer now. Which one I want to use? Oh God, I'm not trust none of them here now. I was going to use this brush, but this brush is not brushing. It's not giving what it's supposed to give. So I'm going to go through and find a different brush. All right, so I'm going to use the same brush that I used the dark powder in. So let me brush it out. I'm brushing it out. So that I don't have... Oh my God. All right. So I'm, I'm, boy, boy, boy. All right, it never break. So I'm going to go in with this gold. Let me take up the mirror because I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to go in with this gold. This one. Right here. Actually, not bad. It look, but you're not. Oh my God! I wish I were seeing it in person. I doubted this palette, which is why I hardly ever use it because I don't trust it. But it's giving. I'm really just packing in this glitter eyeshadow, and then I'm gonna go back in on the end with my dark color, just to blend everything in. I basically just did everything that I did. Everything that I did up here, I just did it at the side. I went back with my light color, then the middle color, then the darker color. Because I want down here to have the same umber effect. Right now, my eye look like it's a professional do it. My turn up. People, sometimes all you have to do is, you just need to try. Just get up in front of the mirror and start putting on makeup. And practice, practice, practice. And over, over time, you'll get it. I couldn't, well, let me not say I couldn't. I, I, I didn't try. I didn't try to, to, to do certain things on my face one time. Foundation, powder, done. But more and more lately, I've decided, well, not just lately, but as time progressed, I decided to do more things. I decided to explore experiment a lot more and practice with other stuff until practice makes perfect so even with brushing off this excess powder you want to make sure that you're blending just the same Guys, I wish you were seeing what my eyeshadow actually looks like. Like the vid, the camera isn't doing it much justice.
Hey, I've been in front of the mirror for way too long. My drive's so ready. <laughs> you know, back in the day, I used to try, I used to do winged, winged um, eyeliner a lot. But I find that I don't really do that anymore. Look up in the blind myself. Wanna see that? I'm in the blind. That's what I want. May I watch Uno? I may try to look another mirror here to see what it looks like in your mirror. But honestly, I don't really do the dramatic eyeliner anymore. But I still put some on the top and some on the bottom. Because eyeliner does make the eye pop. Look how this look popping more than this one because this one has a top one. It helps. See that? I wonder how long this video is. <laughs> I've got enough chopping up. So of course I've got to end with my eye my mascara. I want to see the difference between mascara, no mascara. It does something to the eye. Mighty God of Daniel. I'm gonna start this from this side because government no one really want to pay teachers. So oh I have this this um blush. <laughs> this blush. I've had this for a very long time. Let me show you another one that I have. I also have this one. It's like a dual thing with um with highlights in there, with shimmer in there. So this one is a con the, the blush and the highlight. But for some strange strange reason. I love this because this just mm, this just made my, my cheeks then pop more. So sometimes what I do, I put this on and then I put the other one over it. I swear to you, know, the camera some for some reason is not giving what it's supposed to give tonight. I'm gonna know what I'm to eat. So I do that too. and then I go in with this. Oh, this is um the first one. I have it so long, it, uh, the name and nothing not showing anymore. Not even on the cover. Uh, but this one is uh, Wet and Wild Hello Halo blush and, and highlighter. So, I mean, once you touch it with the brush, the highlight is at top and the and the, the blush is at the bottom. And that's that oh so sometimes I take the highlighter side with this little brush here and go in on my nose just the bridge of my nose right there all right so now that my eyes are so beautifully done, what am I going to do with my lips now? I did say I was going to go with the bold red. But my eyes are a little bit dramatic, but still natural. So do I actually still want to go with this red? Yes, I do. I sure do. I'm not even going to line it or nothing. I'm just going to go bold with it. Because lining it can darken it a bit. Oh, la la! Guys, I have, have always been checking the time. Because knowing myself. 
Now, myself, I would be here talking to myself and the camera isn't on. What's sweet? <laughs> What's sweet? And this is the finished look, guys. I just wet up my hair. I don't even put no, I don't put no moisturizer or anything in there. But just wet it up, cause I gotta go now. I gotta go. Running late. Well, every, oh, yeah. Our hair is hearing. The hair is hearing. Want to Afro ear? It just, I don't know. Some about it, I just love. Anyways, guys, catch up on the road.